Shazam of Fury. So let me get this straight. With games like Ghost of Tsushima, Spider-Man Miles Morales, for example, I think even with Death Stranding Director's Cut, when you wanted to upgrade from PS4 to PS5, and good luck with doing that because, you know, shortage reasons, you still were able to pay a $10 difference and get the digital upgrade to the PS5. Not with Horizon Forbidden West. Now, all of a sudden, they're telling you it's a complicated process, it's an expensive process, uh, it won't be available for that game. And I'm looking like, yeah, okay, whatever. What freaking ever. And you know why I say this is because this is what a lot of these game companies do. And we all know Sony needs the money. And I'm not saying they're broken and got all the stuff. It's just that they know what works. They have been using their whole, what's this whole process of things? Um, how can we say their, their first party reputation as a means to find ways to nickel and dime you. But let's not forget a lot of their games aren't as exclusive as they used to be because the PC is coming to play. That same malarkey that a lot of the fanboys on the Sony camp have been making fun of uh, a lot of the Xbox fanboys about exclusives on the PC. It's happening slowly but surely because it's a money thing. But now it's going to be damage control and they tell you that it's just otherwise. So with Horizon, you're going, you're not going to have that advantage. If you want a P. S4 version and you don't have a PS5 yet, you're going to buy that PS4 version. If you ever want to play it again on the PS5, upgraded and enhanced, you have to buy the PS5 version. And hopefully by the time you get the PS5, the game will be reduced in price <laughs> because of the shortage. We all know it. Stuff, that's ridiculous, Sony. That is freaking ridiculous. That I think... This is about to give Nintendo a run of run for its money when it comes to how to nickel and dime your fan base. So now you leave people with this type of dilemma. Do I not buy it for the PS4 and wait to play it on the PS5? Because you're punishing your fans for buying it on the PS4 because they can't get their hands on the PS5. You're punishing your fans making them pay twice that is definitely nintendo right there that's the reeks of nintendo and one of my subscribers the other night on the last live stream i did said he wished microsoft took in sony business practices are you kidding me now this is exactly why now you see what i'm talking about here they all have their bs to them in some way shape or form but I don't want identical BS. They're supposed to balance each other out, right? You're supposed to have one for this, one for that, one for that. I don't want them to be doing identical business practices. This is this is ridiculous. It's like Skyway, Skyway Sword. You're paying for what? You're not paying for an enhanced version. You're not gonna make people pay twice for a game anyway y'all i don't even want to talk about it for a long time you tell me what you think about this whole situation with horizon not going with the upgrade make up any excuse come to any deduction you want or if you have a valid explanation i'm all open to hear that because this is stupid i just feel in the long run they lured a lot of PlayStation loyalists in with the $10 upgrade. And now they're going to switch it on them because they can. Because I'm a fury. I'm out. Peace.